Hi everyone, happy July. It's July, so we're expecting some sunshine. Haven't seen any yet. I'm Ellen Mary and I'm in my Rhino greenhouse and I haven't really seen sunshine now for about three or so weeks. So the allotment is looking lush and green, but there's not much ripening or growing yet apart from lots of leafy green foliage. I wonder what I'll be saying in the August video for Rhino greenhouses. <laughs> So in the greenhouse at the moment, chilies are doing really, really well, all growing. I've had some beautiful flowers. I love chilli flowers. They're just so pretty. And some tiny little flowers on there, but they're all doing great. My aubergines are coming on really, really well. I've got lots of flowers, but I can't actually move them at the moment. My tomatoes are doing great as well. Perhaps I'll move you over here to show you. So here's uh, some of the tomato plants. I've actually got some outside, but I would just like to show you how I'm supporting them. So here is a honeycomb, and honeycomb's actually been the first uh, to fruit. Hopefully you can see those there. I've got quite a few different varieties, and uh, some aren't in the greenhouse, but this is growing really, really well. And I actually support them using some string, or this is actually some biodegradable twine, and I loop it through the holes in the top of the greenhouse here, which you can also hang hanging baskets from. And I do that for all of my tomatoes and you can kind of train them in the way you want them to go. And I've also got my cucumbers down here and they're being held up right up to the top here as well. So it actually helps to give things a little bit of room and some good airflow too. And don't forget on those tomatoes to be side shooting because I just uh, saw one. So I don't know if you've grown cucumber melons before or what you think of them if you do, but every year I say I'm not going to grow cucumber melons because they take up quite a lot of room with their big trailing vines and a huge amount of foliage. You can get good crops from them uh, and some people will report them in abundance. For me, I find I get more foliage than I do crops and they take up quite a lot of room. You can grow them outside, you can grow them under cover. I do find they grow better under cover, but in the greenhouse they need supporting, you need to trail them, otherwise they will wrap around everything like your aubergines and your chilies and your tomatoes. Basically, you treat them much like a cucumber. You know, you will sow them earlier on in the year, don't plant them outside until all uh, risk of frost has passed, or of course, plant them in the greenhouse earlier on. Um, mine are also being supported in those very holes at the top of the staging in the greenhouse, and hopefully I'll be able to show you a mini one growing. So here is a mini cucumelon. You can see that there. They get to about the size of a grape, and they are they originate in Mexico, so hence why they do quite like the warm. And weather. they taste like a cross between a cucumber and a melon, but with a dash of lime. That's the best way to describe them. You can pop them into cocktails and mocktails and actually quite refreshing in salads as well. But for me, generally, when I come down the allotment, I pick them when they're about grape size and I eat them just as a refreshing treat when I'm working in the greenhouse or down the plot. I've got four of them here. So I've gone from someone who annually says I'm not going to grow any to having four plants. Somehow I always end up with them anyway. But I'm quite sure when it gets hot and sunny, still waiting, when it gets hot and sunny, that these will come in very handy as a refreshing treat. They're super easy to grow. Just uh, remember that they do get a little bit unruly. <laughs> 